So Jacoby Myers, one of the best PPR fantasy football players in today's game. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss with another Trend or Mirage video. Jacoby Myers, one of the best buys in fantasy football this season, bar none. And it has been him and not Devontae Adams, who actually has been the, the star of the uh, Las Vegas Raiders passing attack. Now, just to set the stage here. Uh, during his time with the New England Patriots as an undrafted free agent, no less, uh, Myers was considered a, a solid fringe wide receiver three, uh, wide receiver four um, player. You know, he had he had moments, very, he seemed allergic to scoring touchdowns up until last season, at least. Um, but he was a dependable PPR guy. And like I said, more of a flex um, standing, sometimes caught wide receiver three value, but that's pretty much where it ended. Goes to the Oakland, uh, rather the Las Vegas Raiders uh, for the 2023 season. It was hard to get any sort of enthusiasm for him because not only was Devontae Adams there, but he had a Hunter Renfro who, you know, had a, couple, a big season a couple of years prior. Um, and they have Jimmy Garoppolo coming in, which appeared to be a downgrade from Derek Carr. Um, fast forward to now, and Jacoby Myers has been one of the stories of the season. So, um, you know, he missed week two with injury, but in his other six games, Myers has hit uh, at least 15 PPR points in five of six, all right? He had a, a 5.3 dud in week four. But besides that, how about these totals? Week one, 29.1 uh, PPR points. Week five, 20.5 PPR points. Week six, 17.1. And week seven, fresh off of week seven against uh, the Chicago Bears, 18 uh, while catching passes from Brian Hoyer and Aiden O'Connell, seven catches, 50 yards, uh, 13 targets, and one touchdown. And here's the thing. He has five touchdowns in six games, 37 catches for 385 yards. These are numbers, you know, we were expecting from Devontae Adams, right? Not Jacoby Myers, but Jacoby Myers has been the, the top guy on the Raiders, no matter how you look at it. Now, is this sustainable? That's the question. That's what we always want to determine with these uh, Trend of Mirage videos. And where does Devontae Adams fit in all this? Well, for me, and this is something I said from the very beginning, um, is that, you know, d d when it comes to uh, Jacoby Myers, his ability and his game um, goes perfectly with the abilities of Jimmy Garoppolo, all right? So um, when you have a guy who likes to throw short passes, uh, intermediate passes at a high rate like um, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo does, that fits in more with what Jacoby Myers does. Now, I'm just, the reason why I'm looking over to the size, I'm, I'm, pick, I'm pulling up Devontae Adams' numbers. Um, and right now, Adams has 116.8 PPR points. Myers is at 105.5. It should not be that close, right? And, my, you know, a lot of that has to do with that one monster game that Adams had. Um, let me click on his numbers. Which uh, came in week three when he had 42.2. That really skewed things. You take that out and put it in a more moderate number. Myers really uh, has been on the week per week basis has been the much more dependable guy. And everybody knows it, right? Anybody who's seen this, uh, this offense this season, this season knows that. Adams is unhappy. He's popping off. He wants to get traded. It's not going to happen this season, according to the Raiders, because he knows that Myers is getting the, the first read from Jimmy Garoppolo. As I said before, and even in the summer, Garoppolo's arrival, arrival was not a good thing for Adams. Derek Carr liked to throw the ball down the field, and he was fairly accurate, and that was really good for uh, Devontae Adams' numbers. That's not Garoppolo's strength. He likes the short to intermediate range threat, uh, passes like we talked about, and that jives perfectly with Jacoby Myers, not as well with Devontae Adams. And you can say Devontae Adams is quarterback proof, yes, to an extent, but Garoppolo has a trust with Myers, and the week-in, week-out numbers continue to show that he's the first read. So for me, this is an absolute trend. Also, there is really nobody else besides Adams and Josh Jacobs out of the backfield who's a target. They don't use a tight end much. I know Michael Mayer is starting to get more and more work. Hunter Renfro is a non-story. You know, this is a very consolidated, um, you know, uh, a, a batch of pass catchers for the Raiders. So Myers is going to continue to get a high amount of throws. So to me, this is an absolute trend. I would hold them. I wouldn't sell high. Jacoby Myers is the real deal. Guys, hit that subscribe button. More videos on the way.